Welcome to our in-depth exploration of Marquis de Sade, a controversial and influential French writer and philosopher. Known for his provocative works and radical views on freedom, morality, and sexuality, de Sade has left a lasting impact on literature and philosophy. In this video, we'll delve into his life, his most significant works, and his unique philosophical outlook. We'll also explore in detail his infamous book, Philosophy in the Bedroom, providing extensive content to help you understand his ideas. Marquise de Sade, born Donatienne Alphonse Francois, was born on June 2, 1740, in Paris, France. He was born into a noble family. His father, Jean-Baptiste Francois Joseph, Comte de Sade, was a diplomat, and his mother, marie Eleonore de Maillet de Carmon, was a lady-in-waiting to the Princess of Condé. De Sade's parents had a strained relationship, which eventually led to their separation. This tumultuous family environment would influence his later views on authority and rebellion. De Sade had two siblings, an older brother named Louis and a younger sister named Marie-Anne. However, much of his early life was spent apart from his immediate family, as he was sent to be raised by his maternal grandmother and then to a Jesuit college in Paris. This separation from his family and the strict education he received played a significant role in shaping his rebellious and anti-authoritarian tendencies. From an early age, de Sade exhibited a fierce intellect and a rebellious spirit. His education at the Jesuit college provided him with a strong foundation in classical literature and philosophy, but it also instilled in him a deep hatred for authoritarianism and religious hypocrisy, themes that would recur throughout his works. Marquis de Sade's philosophy was heavily influenced by his personal experiences and the intellectual climate of the Enlightenment. He was deeply critical of established religious and moral values, advocating instead for a philosophy of radical individualism and hedonism. De Sade believed that true freedom could only be achieved by rejecting all forms of social and moral constraint. He argued that individuals should be free to pursue their desires without regard for societal norms or the rights of others. This philosophy, which came to be known as sadism, emphasized the pursuit of pleasure and the infliction of pain as fundamental human drives. One of the central tenets of de Sade's philosophy is the idea that nature is amoral and indifferent to human suffering. He believed that human beings, as part of the natural world, are driven by primal instincts that should not be suppressed by artificial moral codes. According to de Sade, societal laws and religious doctrines are merely tools of oppression used by the powerful to control the masses. To better understand de Sade's philosophy, let's look at some key concepts and examples. Concept one, radical freedom and individualism. De Sade's writings often depict characters who reject societal norms and pursue their desires without restraint. For example, in Justine, the protagonist's unwavering commitment to virtue leads to her suffering, while those who embrace their darker impulses often thrive. This reflects de Sade's belief that societal conventions are arbitrary and restrictive. Concept 2. The Pursuit of Pleasure and Pain In Philosophy in the Bedroom, de Sade explores the idea that pleasure and pain are intimately connected. The characters engage in acts of cruelty and debauchery, arguing that experiencing pain enhances the pleasure of the moment. This notion challenges traditional moral distinctions between good and evil, suggesting that such categories are irrelevant to the pursuit of personal gratification. Concept 3. Critique of Religion and Authority De Sade was a fierce critic of organized religion, which he saw as a source of hypocrisy and oppression. In his works, he often portrays religious figures as corrupt and depraved, for example, in the 120 Days of Sodom, clergymen participate in horrific acts, highlighting the disconnect between religious teachings and human behavior. Marquis de Sade authored numerous works, many of which were written during his various imprisonments. His most famous works include Justine, The 120 Days of Sodom, and Philosophy in the Bedroom. Let's take a closer look at these and other notable writings. Justine, 1791. Justine is one of Decide's most famous novels. It tells the story of a young woman who, despite her commitment to virtue, suffers a series of horrific misfortunes. The novel contrasts Justine's suffering with the fortunes of her sister Juliet, who embraces a life of vice and prospers. 
Through this narrative, Dasad critiques the moral values of his time, suggesting that virtue is often punished while vice is rewarded. The 120 Days of Sodom, 1785. The 120 Days of Sodom is perhaps Dasad's most infamous work. Written while he was imprisoned in the Bastille, the novel describes the extreme sexual and violent exploits of four libertines who subject their victims to unimaginable horrors. The work is a radical exploration of the limits of human depravity and a critique of the arbitrary nature of societal norms. Philosophy in the Bedroom, 1795. Philosophy in the Bedroom is a dialogue-driven work that explores Desaad's philosophical ideas through the interactions of its characters. The story revolves around the sexual education of a young woman named Eugenie by two libertines, Dalmancé and Madame de Saint-Ange. Through explicit and provocative discussions, the characters challenge conventional notions of morality, religion, and sexuality. In addition to these major works, Desaad wrote numerous other novels, plays, and essays, including Juliet, Aline and Valcour, and The Crimes of Love. Each of these works further develops his radical ideas and critiques of contemporary society. Now let's dive deeper into Philosophy in the Bedroom, one of Desaad's most provocative and philosophically rich works. This book is structured as a series of dialogues and explicit scenes that explore themes of sexuality, power, and morality. The book begins with the introduction of Eugenie, a young and naive girl who is brought to the home of Madame de Saint-Ange to be educated in the ways of libertinism. Through a series of dialogues and demonstrations, Eugenie is exposed to radical ideas about freedom, pleasure, and the rejection of conventional morality. One of the central themes of philosophy in the bedroom is the idea that traditional moral values are arbitrary and repressive. The characters argue that true freedom can only be achieved by rejecting societal norms and embracing one's desires without restraint. Here are some key passages and discussions from the book that illustrate Desaad's philosophy. Passage 1, The Rejection of Conventional Morality. In one of the early dialogues, Dolman Say argues that moral values are merely societal constructs designed to control individuals. He asserts that natural instincts should be the only guide to human behavior. This passage challenges the reader to reconsider the basis of their own moral beliefs. Passage 2. The Connection Between Pleasure and Pain Throughout the book, the characters engage in acts that blend pleasure and pain, arguing that the two sensations are intimately connected. This exploration of sadomasochism challenges conventional distinctions between pleasure and suffering, suggesting that both are essential to a full experience of life. Passage 3 critique of religion. In a particularly provocative section, the characters critique organized religion, arguing that it perpetuates hypocrisy and restricts human freedom. They advocate for a secular worldview that prioritizes individual pleasure over religious dogma. Philosophy in the bedroom is not only a critique of traditional values, but also a celebration of radical individualism and sexual liberation. By presenting these ideas in the context of explicit and often shocking scenes, Desaad forces the reader to confront their own assumptions about morality and human nature. Juliet is the companion novel to Justine and follows the life of Justine's sister, who embraces a life of vice and debauchery. The novel is a detailed exploration of libertinism, power, and the rejection of traditional moral values. Through Juliet's adventures, Desaad presents a counterpoint to the suffering of Justine, suggesting that the pursuit of pleasure and power can lead to success and fulfillment. Aline and Valcourt is an epistolary novel that contrasts the virtues of two different societies, one based on rationality and equality, and the other on despotism and corruption. The novel is notable for its critique of societal norms and its exploration of utopian ideals. The Crimes of Love, 1800. The Crimes of Love is a collection of short stories that delve into themes of passion, crime, and morality. Each story explores the complexities of human emotions and the often destructive nature of desire. Through these tales, Desaad critiques the hypocrisy and contradictions of societal norms. These works, along with Desaad's other writings, provide a comprehensive view of his radical ideas and his critique of contemporary society. They illustrate his belief in the importance of individual freedom and the rejection of conventional moral constraints.
Continuing our deep dive into philosophy in the bedroom, we explore more key passages and themes that illustrate de Sade's radical ideas. In one dialogue, the characters discuss the role of education in achieving enlightenment. They argue that traditional education perpetuates ignorance and conformity, while true enlightenment requires the rejection of conventional knowledge and the pursuit of personal truth. Philosophy in the Bedroom also addresses the role of women in society. The characters advocate for women's sexual liberation and the rejection of traditional gender roles. This theme challenges the patriarchal norms of Desaad's time and promotes a more egalitarian view of sexuality. The characters in Philosophy in the Bedroom also discuss political freedom, arguing that true liberty can only be achieved by overthrowing oppressive governments and rejecting societal norms. This theme reflects Desaad's radical political views and his belief in the necessity of revolution. Through these discussions and explicit scenes, Philosophy in the Bedroom presents a provocative and challenging critique of traditional values. Desaad's exploration of freedom, pleasure, and morality continues to provoke thought and debate. Introduction Philosophy in the Bedroom is one of the most prominent and controversial works of Marquise de Sade, exploring various philosophical, moral, and sexual themes through dialogues between characters. Due to its explicit and unfiltered content, this book remains a subject of attention and debate. At the beginning of the book, Madame de Saint-Ange and Dolmancé, the main characters, are instructing Eugénie, a young girl who is to be introduced to new concepts of freedom and liberation. Dolmancé emphasizes, we must free ourselves from all moral and social constraints imposed by society. Nothing should hinder our enjoyment of life. Every individual has the right to live according to their desires and should not fear the judgments of others. Initially unfamiliar with these views, Eugenie is shocked by some of the suggestions made by Dolmancé and Madame de Saint-Ange. However, gradually, through the experiences she gains, she starts to accept and even enjoy this lifestyle. A key part of the book is dedicated to critiquing religion and traditional morality. Dolmancé states in one of his dialogues, religion is nothing more than a tool for control and oppression. Clergy and religious leaders use religion to maintain their power and wealth, forcing people into obedience and submission. We must free ourselves from these chains and decide for ourselves what is right and what is wrong. Madame de Saint-Ange also teaches Eugénie, traditional morality is nothing more than a set of social rules and norms aimed at maintaining order and control. However, these morals often conflict with human nature and our true desires. We must have the courage to question these rules and live according to our own desires and wants. Another central theme of philosophy in the bedroom is the relationship between pleasure and pain. Dolmancy says, pleasure and pain are two sides of the same coin. To fully experience pleasure, we must be willing to accept pain as well. Sexual experiences can be both pleasurable and painful simultaneously, and this is something we should embrace. Throughout the book, under the guidance of Madame de Saint-Dange and Dolmancé, Eugénie undergoes various experiences of this nature and learns how to accept and enjoy this blend of pleasure and pain as part of her sexual life. Philosophy in the Bedroom also explores the role of women in society and gender. Madame de Saint-Dange tells Eugénie, women have always been controlled by men, and this must change. We must free ourselves from the traditional constraints imposed upon us and make our own decisions about our lives and sexuality. Nothing should stop us from enjoying life and our desires. Dolmancé adds, sexuality is something to be enjoyed, not something to be seen as sinful or shameful. Women should have the courage to express their desires and enjoy them. Another important theme of philosophy in the bedroom is the discussion of political and social freedom. Dolmancé and Madame de Saint-Ange teach Eugénie, True freedom is only achieved when we free ourselves from the social and political constraints imposed upon us. We must have the courage to rise against these constraints and fight for our freedom. Nothing should stop us from living according to our desires and wants. Philosophy in the Bedroom by Marquis de Sade is a controversial work filled with philosophical, moral, and sexual discussions that challenge traditional rules and norms. This book teaches us how to free ourselves from social and moral constraints 
and live according to our desires and wants. These views and teachings remain subjects of attention and debate, helping us to gain a fresh and different perspective on various aspects of life. Marquis de Sade spent much of his life in and out of prison due to both his libertine lifestyle and his controversial writings. His later years were marked by increasing isolation and declining health. In 1803, de Sade was declared insane and was committed to the Charenton Asylum, where he continued to write and stage plays with the help of the asylum's director. Despite the harsh conditions, de Sade remained intellectually active until his death. Marquis de Sade died on December 2, 1814, at the age of 74. The exact cause of his death is not well documented, but it is believed to have been related to his deteriorating health. His body was buried in the cemetery of the asylum, but his grave was later desecrated and his remains were lost. Marquis de Sade's radical philosophy and controversial writings have had a lasting impact on literature, philosophy, and popular culture. His emphasis on individual freedom and the rejection of conventional morality influenced many later thinkers and writers. De Sade's exploration of individual freedom and the rejection of societal norms prefigured many themes in existentialist philosophy. Thinkers like Jean-Paul Sartre and Simone de Beauvoir explored similar ideas about the nature of freedom and the importance of personal choice. Sigmund Freud and other psychoanalysts were also influenced by de Sade's exploration of human desires and the darker aspects of human nature. De Sade's works provided a rich source of material for understanding the complexities of the human psyche. De Sade's writings have inspired countless authors, artists, and filmmakers. His unflinching exploration of taboo subjects and his challenge to conventional morality have made him a figure of fascination and controversy in the arts. Through his radical ideas and provocative writings, Marquis de Sade has left an indelible mark on intellectual history. His works continue to challenge and inspire, pushing readers to question their assumptions about freedom, morality, and human nature. In this video, we have explored the life, works, and philosophy of Marquis de Sade. From his early life and education to his major works and the detailed exploration of philosophy in the bedroom, we have delved into the radical ideas that made him one of the most controversial figures in intellectual history. De Sade's philosophy of radical individualism and his critique of conventional morality continue to provoke thought and debate. His works challenge us to reconsider our assumptions about freedom, pleasure, and the nature of human desires. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the life and mind of Marquis de Sade. We hope you found this exploration insightful and thought-provoking. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video as we continue to uncover the lives and ideas of history's most fascinating thinkers. Until next time, keep questioning, keep exploring, and stay curious.